Good evening, folks, and welcome once again to Tuesday Night Pearls of Grace Ladies Only Bible Study, a lovely ladies only group where we have, it's a safe haven where everything we speak about here um, is between us and God. I'm going to open up the little message tonight. And then Vicky's going to uh, take over. She's got some fantastic questions. I'm looking forward to this. I really am. We're going to talk about tonight. And I know what, what scriptures I might speak about now. Vicky's going to repeat them later on. But they're well worth hearing over again and again and again and again. So bear with us. And I do want to open up with Romans chapter 12 and the first two verses, one and two. And it said that, it's written here that, and so, dear brothers and sisters, this is Paul writing this, uh, I plead with you to give your bodies to God. Let, let them be a living, holy sacrifice, the kind he will accept. When you think of what he has done for you, is this too much to ask? Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think, then you will know what God wants you to do and you will know how good, good and pleasing and perfect his will really is. And the reason I wanted to start with that one is what we're going to be talking about tonight is that as Christians, as born again believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, what should and shouldn't we be watching, listening to, and actually speaking. And what we see in TV, what we listen to in the radio, what we listen to in music actually does influence us. Romans 12 and 2 says, don't copy the behaviour of the world. And in Romans 8 and 6, we're told there, the mind governed by the flesh is death. But the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. And it is life and peace. It really is. Now, jumping back to Romans 12 and 2, what does that really mean? You know, when Paul asks, um, are you living your best life? That's what he's really asking. Are you living your best life? I have to ask myself that every now and again, because I don't know. I'm human. I make mistakes. I stumble. I sin, but I do try to live my best life as possible, the way God wants me to uh, live it. And shifting our patterns and our focus can, does, and will change your life. All we've got to do is, if you're around negative people, you've got to be positive, and that will change the whole atmosphere. Mm. If, if we're watching pornography, if we're watching uh, horror movies uh, and things and things that we shouldn't be watching it impacts our lives and we give all that up, uh, then um, our minds are transformed and we are to transform. Our minds are to be transformed uh, uh, by Christ. So we need to renew our minds. Like seriously, changing the way we think and the way we act. and you know, what we listen to, what we watch, it really can all create a better life for us. And when we have a better life for ourselves, that overflow, that falls out onto our family and our friends and our work colleagues and everything. So we want to live the best we possibly can so they can see us living like that and that will encourage them to come to Christ. You know, the world and society have patterns and ways that can hold us in bondage and it can lead to broken lives. It really can. There's too much on uh, social medias and TV. Gambling's too easy. Pornography's too easy to access by children and young people and adults as well. It's, it's way too easy. Jesus said, in Mark 9 and 23, it's written, Jesus said, if you can believe 
all things are possible to them that believe. So if you believe that you can be transformed through Jesus, it will happen. It's time to change our mindset, folks. Sue's going to cringe because I'm going to say my favourite line again. We need to be sure we're rapture ready. She's not really cringe and she's hiding her face behind her hand. But we do need to be sure we're rapture ready. You know, another phrase you'll hear me often say is, we cannot walk with God and hold hands with the devil at the same time. We need to be fully with God. We, we can't sit. The time is too short for us to be sitting on that fence with one foot in God's camp and one foot in the enemy's camp. It's time to make the decision which camp you want to be in. And you either need to get off that fence and get into the enemy's camp or get into God's camp. I would really love for everybody to get into God's camp. It's your choice. We can't force you. I can't force you to come into God's camp. But it is time that we make a decision for Christ and live the way he wants us to live. In Psalm 101 and verse 3, it is written, I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. We set many things before our eyes, which is worthless. Michael, that's my darling hubby. Him and I were talking this morning over coffee. And uh, we were talking about way, 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 way back in the day that we watched Carnation Street and um, EastEnders and Emmerdale. And I used to love Emmerdale because it used to be, I thought it was a lovely family oriented show. But I think about three years ago, Emmerdale was the first TV drama, soap drama, to bring in transgenderism. Coronation Street is all about lesbians and homosexuals and everything. And Michael was telling me this morning that uh, apparently Prince Charles and Camilla are going to be making a cameo appearance on Coronation Street because apparently Coronation Street's ratings is falling. And too many of the public are complaining about its content. I wonder why. Nothing that the enemy puts out there is simple and it's not homely. We know that way, way, way back in the beginning that you know, old Hollywood movies and things were all very lovey-dovey and they're all very family oriented. But when you really look at them closer in our older age, you can see the sublime messages in them. You can see where it started and push on to today that anything that's bad goes, but anything's good is not wanted. So we are in the day, folks, that where bad is good and good is bad. In Matthew 6 and 22, it's written, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. I like that one. I really do. Now, I'm going to stop the recording now. And uh, we'll just put this little message out on uh, playback for people uh, on YouTube and everything later on, because I'm going to open it up. Uh, Vicky's got some fantastic questions to ask uh, about what we're watching, what we're listening to. And I'm looking forward to hearing this. I really am. So everybody on Playback Land, on YouTube and Facebook and wherever, I hope you all get something from this little message. And if you're not sure if you're rapture ready or not, the details for Pearls of Grace Ministry will be in the description. Contact us and one of our team will pray with you, pray for you, pray over you and help guide you to make sure that you are rapture ready and that you're going to go up in the rapture. Or if it's your time to be called home before the rapture, then when you're called home that you're going to go to heaven. Thank you for listening, folks, and all the best. And do get in touch with us. Uh, we will love to speak with you. Bye.